Isa ka din ba sa nahihirapan o nalilito sa pagsulat ng research? Well, this lesson is for you. Stay tuned for more information. everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Lorna C. Velasquez. Before we start, kung bago ka pala sa aking YouTube channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Today will be our first research episode and we will start from the basic or the preliminaries so that you will be activated in terms of research and as much as possible i will simplify our discussion in order for you to easily learn about research so in this lesson i will explain the answers to the following questions first what is research second what is educational research third why do people conduct research Fourth, what is the primary purpose of educational research? Fifth, what fields or disciplines can that research? Sixth, what are the benefits of educational research to teachers? And the last question is, what is the role of research in education, instruction, higher education, and national development? All right, so let's get started. Let's begin by answering the given questions. First, what is research? Let's try to unlock difficulties because just like in a storytelling, unlocking of difficulties is really needed or it is essential for the readers to better understand the content of the lesson. And so with the research, we need also to unlock or to define the term in order for the researchers to understand what research is. There are actually words that can be associated into it because the word research can be used as a noun or as a verb. Alright, so when we hear the word research, of course, it will involves a process. It is said to be scientific or systematic. And during the implementation or process of conducting this research, there will be investigation. We will also conduct experiments or the so-called experimentation. We will do a lot of testing or tests. And researchers should also explore. You should uh, analyze the given data or the gathered data coming from your respondents or from your participant. We need also to search for a truth or the so-called fact uh, finding and we need also to scrutinize to probe to inquire we need to conduct studies related to your current study and we need also to look into our process our data and everything we need to inspect review assess read and to check so those are the basic words that can be associated to research. Actually, there are lots of uh, definitions given uh, uh, in online or, or online resources and even from books, uh, published or unpublished uh, materials. And we will uh, try to give you or I will give you uh, or varieties of definitions of research so that you can also understand what research is. So the first definition that I can give you is coming from uh, the online dictionary wherein it says there that research is the systematic investigation into a study of materials and sources to establish facts and reach new conclusions. So, 
since research is systematic, we need to follow the steps. We need to follow the process because it cannot be considered as systematic if we are not going to plan, we are not going to follow the steps. All right, so we need also to consider the materials in the sources so that we can establish and have this better outputs and for us also to formulate better conclusions about our study. So there are actually varieties of definitions when it comes to research, but we will we will just pick some of the uh, definitions given and we will try to elucidate so that you can be able to understand what research is. So let me try to present to you the first definition that I found from online dictionary and according to this uh, definition, research is the systematic investigation and study of materials and sources to establish facts and reach new conclusions. So based on this definition, research is considered to be systematic investigation. Systematic because we need to follow the process, the steps. It's like in conducting an, an experiment, we need to uh, follow the processes and steps because without following the, the, the said steps and processes, everything will be of chaos. Everything will be, will be inappropriate. So, meaning we need to, uh, as much as possible, follow this systematic process, alright? And then we need also consider materials to be used in our research, just like online materials, can be published or unpublished materials, okay? So, it's re really very important so that uh, we can develop a better research that could help people and specifically students to formulate better conclusions and solutions to a particular problem. Another important definition of the word research is coming from form plus. Based on this definition, educational research plays a vital role in the overall development of pedagogy, learning programs, and policy formulation. So, as observed in the higher education, Research plays this vital role in the overall development of the pedagogy because through this research, we can be able to improve uh, our curriculum, we can be able to improve our programs and activities in school, and through this research, we can also implement policy or we can formulate policy in our own school that will also benefit not only students, teachers, but uh, all the stakeholders. The third definition was derived from Wikipedia and based on this definition, research was considered to be creative and systematic work undertaken to increase the stock of knowledge. So if we are going to apply this or relate this into reality, we could say that uh, through research, we can be able to be equipped with the knowledge related to, to study and it can also be enhance our creativity and systematic process that that will benefit not only us but also to other people and it will also help us to develop this creative thinking logical thinking and in terms of decision making and problem solving in addition to that through research, it will involve the collection, organization, and analysis of information to increase understanding of a topic or an issue. Furthermore, through research, we can be able to test the validity of the instruments, procedures, or experiments because research may replicate elements of the prior projects or the project as a whole. All right, so since research is broad, this time we will be very specific. We will try also to define what is educational research. 
So educational research is a type of systematic investigation that applies uh, empirical methods to solving challenges in education. So we know already that in our educational system, we face uh, problems and challenges related to education, specifically this new normal. So as uh, educator, students, uh, and the administrators are trying to help solve the problem so they try to collaborate as much as possible for for uh for us to uh, to offer possible solutions to the to the problem and as much as possible we can address it immediately so that it it will not be repeated in the succeeding years so this uh this is how educational research works for, for the benefit of students, teachers, and the school as a whole. Moving on to the next question, why do people conduct research? It's simply to find answers to questions or solutions to problems in daily life. Remember that one of the roles of a researcher is to help solve the problem. It is not enough for the researcher to, know, to just know the, the, the problem. It is essential for the researcher to, to find possible solution to that existing problem. Another is to improve or enhance ways of doing things. If you think the, the, the previous practices are not effective, then you need to think of better ways or means on how things will be done uh, smoothly how things will be done correctly okay it's because you need to do things right right and uh, if you think that practices or offered solution are not uh, benefiting people searchers and the like so you need to think of the better ways and means on how to improve things okay so that uh, problems will not be repeated again and then to disprove or provide a new hypothesis. There are researches that was happened before or from the past or in the past rather. And you are trying to compare the, the, the uh, practices and as well as solutions. So there is a possibility that you can disprove uh, the hypothesis or even the findings and then you can provide new findings and solution or even hypothesis to that particular findings remember that uh, whatever will be offered by a researcher for now it will not last forever meaning there are uh, there were times at even uh, months years or decades that that solution will not be uh, effective okay so you need to try to look for other solution to the existing problem. Okay, so hindi siya pang matagalan. It is just like Hegelian dialectic theory wherein the offered solution will become a new problem. And because of the new problem, you need to offer new solution. Kasi hindi nga siya pang matagalan. There is a need for you to revise. That is why going back to the research, it is said to be replicated. Replicated because we need to monitor, we need to assess, we need to evaluate, and as well as to look for the development if it is being improved or not improved. Next, what is the primary purpose of educational research? So again, according to Form Plus, the primary purpose of educational research is to expand the existing body of knowledge by providing solutions to different problems in pedagogy while improving teaching and learning practices. So, of course, since we belong to an educational system, so our focus would be uh, related to teaching and the learning process. Our purpose is always for the improvement, for enhancement of a program, for motivation, okay for classroom and management practices to be improved or to be enhanced so since research is developmental so uh, little by little we can we can help solve the problems through our uh, efforts so we need to always contribute to our to our school because it will uh, not only benefit you but 
uh, all people belonging to that organization. All right, so fifth question, what fields in disciplines conduct research? Research can be done in different disciplines and fields, not only in education, but can also be done in anthropology, communication, medicine, medical education, behavioral sciences, psychology, and social sciences. So meaning, it is not only intended for education. That's why uh, research is considered to be an applied subjects because not only an education will benefit this research but in all different fields and disciplines. So when we talk about anthropology, it is the study of humanity through the application of biology, cultural studies, archaeology, linguistics, and other social sciences. So since anthropology is the study of the humanity, we can also conduct research related to biology, this cultural studies, archaeology, linguistics. So meaning to say, in different fields, they have a specific uh, problems that they encountered and then they are also trying to find solution to that particular problem. Okay, how about research and communication? Since uh, communication is the sending and receiving of, inf of information or even news, we need also to look for the uh, best solution related to information, how to disseminate information, how to impart or receive, okay? Why there is this so-called communication breakdown, why there is the so-called barriers to communication, okay? So... We need to look for the possible solution. Sometimes uh, it talks about culture. Okay, so through communication, we can we can be able to uh, offer uh, possible solutions that will also benefit communication because communication is also part of our life. All right, so how about research and education? So education is the process of receiving and giving systematic instructions, specifically at a school or university. So through research, we can be able to provide uh, quality education. We can look for the um, solutions related to curriculum. We can also find solutions uh, related to instruction. Okay, everything that will benefit students, not only in public, but also in private schools. Okay, can also be basic elementary, high school, higher education, and post-graduate studies. Okay, how about medicine and medical education? So, educational related to the practice of being medical practitioner. So, even in the field of medicine, they are also conducting research. Uh, Specifically, doctors, diba? they are trying to look for the solution to the existing problem related to COVID-19. So, naghahanap sila ng mga solusyon, paano magagamot ang mga pasyente, ano yung lunas na dapat uh, maibigay. And at the same time, they are trying also to contribute not only in our country but also worldwide. They are trying to a test and as well as to look for the possible vaccine, di ba? Para lang mayroon naman tayong contribution not only in our country but uh, worldwide, di ba? So, lahat sila ay nagkakandak ng research, not only in the field of education. Okay, actually marami pa nga sila mga pag-aaral eh, which is related to their medical field. Okay, so those practitioners are trying to impart, trying to look for the best solution, okay, to what to serve people. Alright, so how about uh, research in behavioral sciences? So when we talk about behavioral sciences, it is any of the various disciplines dealing with the subject of human actions, usually including the fields of sociology, social and cultural anthropology, psychology and behavioral aspects of biology, economics, geography, law, psychiatry, and political science. So meaning, dito sa behavioral science, uh, we can also look for the resource 
why people change their behaviors and actions. Bakit yung isang tao ay different yung kanyang characteristics, behavior dun sa isang tao. Bakit siya naiiba sa lahat? Bakit siya nagkaroon ng ganun? Okay, so ano yung mga reasons? Ano yung history ng mga tao nyo? So, much more that they are conducting research. Okay, so can you, can you, can you see? Can you imagine uh, the life without research? Diba? It will be a chaos. Okay? So, how about research and psychology? Uh, by the way, in psychology, we are referring to the scientific study of the mind and behavior. Okay, bakit yung tao, sabi nila, nagkaroon ng schizophrenia? Bakit, bakit parang nagkaroon ng depression? Bakit, bakit nagkaroon ng anxiety? Bakit uh, stressed yung tao? So, we need to what? We need to uh, understand things. Okay, so meaning to say, uh, we have this different field of specialization. So, uh, any one of us has this uh, opportunity to what to conduct research for us to enhance our practices in our specific fields, diba? or a specific field uh, related to our work, diba? and aside from that research in social sciences. So when we speak of social sciences, it is a group of academic disciplines that focus on how individuals behave in the society. Bakit mayroong mga taong sabi nila mga pasaway, mga mga nagkakaroon ng mga violence, 'di ba? Bakit ganoon? Bakit ganoon 'yon? So we need to understand how people uh, react, how people act. Okay? So uh, we can only understand uh, this particular uh, behavior in, within this society through this research. Okay, so we have the, we have our own expertise. So not uh, it means being no re, no specific research is intended for all types of fields or disciplines. We have our own field to to be focused. So, uh, since we also have our specialization, we have our own expertise, we need to deal with this different uh, research so that we can, we can be able to share and we can be able to enlighten people how these uh, things happen because even doctors, hindi naman lahat ay hawak niya, di ba? So, mayroon din, mayroon siyang mga specialization na kailangan i-focus na. So, meaning, Ha, kayaan natin na yung nasa behavioral sciences ang pumawa nun. How about in education? Kanya-kanya oh, naman tayo. So, meaning, resources everywhere. Ginagamit siya kahit saan. Hindi lang dahil nag-aaral tayo, kaya kailangan natin mag-research, but lahat ng mga fields ay merong tinatawag na resource. So, resource is part of our life. Okay? So, I hope that you understand that this resource is essential. Okay? Resource is vital. Alright, next question, what are the benefits of educational research to teachers? So according to SAGE Publishing, it will help teachers to find solutions to problems arising in classroom or school. So uh, in school, teachers are required to submit uh, or to formulate research. Uh, one of the objectives is to help solve the problem related to instruction, related to the teaching and learning process. Remember that uh, the direct beneficiaries are the students, so we need to help solve the problems as an educator. Another is to underpin professional learning of knowledge, skills, and understanding. So, for us to be equipped with the knowledge and skills related to research, we need also to uh, explore, even that we have this very limited knowledge about research, so we, we need to what to explore in order for us to discover, to innovate, and to develop our creativity and the like. Alright, another is to connect with sources of information and networks of professional support. So, through research, we can be able to connect to other people. Not only you as an individual, but you can also connect with your colleagues, with your superiors, with your principal. Uh, we can also uh, share or impart uh, 
possible solutions related to our classroom teaching and because it will also serve as the eye-opener for the curriculum developers and implementers to to provide best solution to the particular problem. Another is to clarify purposes, processes, and priorities when introducing change. For example, to curriculum, pedagogy, or assessment. And in the curriculum, we are uh, uh, curriculum is said to be not perfect. Sometimes it is uh, still on its process. So. Uh, since curriculum is not perfect, we need to help contribute so that we can collaborate so that the curriculum is uh, going to be effective uh, and we can always uh, suggest, we can always uh, provide a better solution to the problem in terms of assessment. Uh, specifically in this new normal, we can be able to look for the uh, better assessment tool in order to uh, know if our students are learning from the lesson or not. Alright, so in terms of the practices, uh, if we think that there is a need for us to, uh, what you call this, provide uh, best and possible solution to the problem then there are things that we need also to what to improve to enhance okay that's why during the process we have this planning implementing and evaluating okay so another to improve understanding of your professional and policy context organizationally locally and nationally enabling you to teach lead more strategically uh, and effectively okay and develop your agency influence self-efficacy and voice within your own school and more widely within the profession so those are the benefits of educational research to teachers according to sage publishing all right so last question what is the role of research and education so it's simply review and improve educational practice and by the way when we talk about educational practice we are referring to individual instructional activities of teachers organized activities or programs of educational institutions or educational system so malaki ang ginagampana ng research specifically in education because we are talking about practices we are go we are talking about individual instruction we are talking about organized activities and programs that will benefit students so it must be structured it must be thoroughly planned it must be uh, beneficial to our students teachers in the entire organization what is the role of research in higher education in higher education institutions they are expected to create and disseminate knowledge to people through students and professionals so research will serve as a backbone of university ranking in its outcomes in addition to that higher educational institutions should provide quality education to students so through research they can be able to improve their curriculum and instruction so what is the role of research and instruction so through research it will help lecturers to interrogate aspects of the teaching practices and evaluate learning processes with a greater understanding of its relevance to their careers it helps in the assessment of situations to confirm to the practices required in the pedagogical field. That's why in our school, we have our master teachers, department heads to guide us so that our teaching practices is practically aligned to the, to the most essential learning competencies and so that uh, our superiors can also suggest ways and means on how we are going to improve 
uh, the instructional practices and to offer a uh, best solution to the problem if any. And finally, last question, what is the role of research in national development? Remember that the main goal of nation is to support the research and development. Why? We need to help improve the growth, increase economic efficiency, hire the number of employers in our own country, and to build the society, uplift the economy and financial investment, and to contribute to the national and global competitiveness. Remember that every day is a competition. So we need to think of the better ways, how we are going to improve things, how we are going to contribute to our own country. And through innovations and application of science and technology, we can help build a nation and only research can make this development succeed. Now, can you imagine the world? Can you imagine your life? Can you imagine uh, our school without this so-called research? So I hope that this lecture will help you understand the essence or importance of conducting research. I hope that you will love research. Please do not consider it as a burden to you because we can do a lot of things for us to contribute to the national uh, development, okay, to our, to our country and as well as to our school. So I hope that you learned a thing or two. Thank you so much for listening. See you again next uh, week. And up next, we will talk about designing a research useful in daily life. And we will uh, start now in formulating a research title. So I hope to see you again. All right. So before uh, I end my lecture, let me share this quote from Eugene Bell Jr. Aspire to inspire before you expire. Bye.